Hey, I'm tacking this on to the beginning of the video. One thing I forgot to mention is why would we do this test in the first place? Um, if your system is crashing, blue screening, uh, just applications are crashing, Windows is crashing, all kinds of you know stability issues. The first thing you should test is your memory. It's it's the most likely and um, without good memory, all kinds of bad things can happen. So um, it's always the first thing I test when there's stability problems with a system, blue screens crashing, rebooting, things like that. So that's why we test the memory and on with the program. Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here with another high production video. So um, we're going to talk about memory tests today. Normally, the way I like to test memory is with MemTest86. And so that's what you see here. But the disadvantage of using MemTest86 is you have to create a flash drive and boot to the flash drive. And, you know, sometimes that gets a little bit complicated for users. So there is another method that you know, I don't like it quite as much because I don't think it's quite as thorough, but um, Windows has a built-in memory diagnostic tool. And so we're gonna take a look at that now. Now, what, you, what the memory test will do is it'll run, and what's kind of stupid about it, and the part I don't like about it is at the very end of the test, it doesn't give you the results. You might be like, well, what, what kind of test runs a test and then doesn't give you the results? Well. This one, um, but you can get to the results. It's just they're not presented to you. So what I'm gonna do is I am simply going to uh, type into the little search box. I like to use the little search box down here for shortcuts. And I'm just gonna type in memory. And then what comes up in the search results are various things, but you see the Windows Memory Diagnostic app. And it gives you the option to restart your computer now and check for problems. And that's what you're going to want to click on. So what's going to happen is the computer's going to reboot, kind of like we do with MemTest86, but it's going to kick off the Microsoft uh, memory test. Now, you can go in and you can tweak the settings of this thing, but I don't, I looked at some of the settings and I don't really see and that's F1 for options, the point of, of making any changes to the, 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 the default test seems to do just fine. So this will take, um, this is 16 gigs of RAM, probably take 30 minutes. I'm, I'm just spitballing that. About 30 minutes per 16 gigs of RAM is what you should allocate for this. Maybe, you know, 45 on a slower system. So we'll come back when it's done. I'll show you how to get the results because what will happen is at the end of this test, it will reboot the computer and go back into Windows, and then that's how we have to see what the results are. It would be nice if it would just stop at the end and say, here are your results. Now, if you're running this test and the system crashes or reboots while running this test, um, well, you, you know you have a problem. Um, it should not, a healthy system shouldn't have any problem completing this test. So we'll be back to look at the results. And we are back, and as I said, it'd take about 30 minutes, and that's about what it took, about 30 minutes. So it got done, it booted right back up into the Windows desktop, and no results come up. Would that be so hard to do? But no, no results come up. So let's tighten this shot up. And uh, sorry, I'm going to move the camera a little bit. <laughs> that wasn't very uh, smooth, I'm sure. Um, but what, what you need to do is bring up computer management. So down in the little search box, I'm just going to type in com, computer. And then computer management comes up as a search result. And you want to go to the event viewer and expand it. And then go to Windows logs and expand that. And then go to system. So that's uh, the event viewer and well computer management event viewer windows logs system and then you want to look for 
memory diagnostic results. They should be fairly close to the top. Now this will start to fill with additional information so your results will start to creep down this list if you delay coming in here and looking. And let's say you can't find your results. You can go up to the, where is it? Action, view, there's a way to do a find. Yeah, I'm gonna right click on the system log here. So I'm right clicking on system and I'm doing find and I'm just gonna do a search for memory and it'll jump to the first result that has memory right here. And we can see here that the memory diagnostic tested the computer's memory and detected no errors. And that's what you wanna see. If you've got healthy, a uh, healthy memory in your system, your diagnostic results will show that. For some reason, it shows up twice. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. It's, one of them is event ID 1201, the other one is 1101, but they both show the same result. Uh, I think because it runs two passes, you'll notice during the test that there's two parts to the test as it's running, and probably one of them is part one and the other is part two uh, result. But you want it to say, no errors. And if you get that, then you can feel pretty confident that your memory is sound.